Turkey's Misyan Bank taps Taurus for digital asset custody and tokenization services. Ruhulam and Hekshanas last updated March 26, 2024, 715 EDT, 2 minute read. Turkey's Misyan Bank has announced its partnership with Swiss firm Taurus to leverage its digital asset custody and tokenization technology. The Neo Bank, established just a year ago, aims to position Turkey as a regional center of excellence for custody services and tokenization, according to a report from local media outlet B. Faber. Taurus is a renowned player in the digital asset space with clients like Credit Agricole, Credit Suisse, and Deutsche Bank, the latter two being investors. Mission Bank can now offer digital custody services. The collaboration enables Mission Bank to offer digital custody services to a diverse range of institutions, including banks, portfolio management companies, brokerage firms, fintechs, family, offices, and central banks. We have taken an important step for our country and region with our vision that aims to make Turkey the Switzerland of its region, Dr. Erner Hallis Demir, CEO of Mission Bank, said in a comment. With the completion of Turkey's local regulatory framework for digital asset custody services, Mission Bank aims to make Turkey an attractive hub for custody services and tokenization within the region. On the way to the goal, we are structuring our technological infrastructure in cooperation with Switzerland-based Taurus and our subsidiary Embazin Tech. Turkey has been making strides in crypto asset legislation, with the finance minister recently stating that the regulations are in the final stages. In addition to progressing central bank digital currency, CBDC trials, Turkey has witnessed various tokenization and cryptocurrency initiatives. HSBC launched a gold tokenization initiative in late 2023. Tax Bank introduced Bigger Gold in 2019. Garani BBVA launched Garani BBVA Digital Assets in 2023. And payments firm Colendi acquired Enterprise Blockchain Firm Settle in 2022. When the legal regulations in our country are completed, these works will put Turkey in a competitive position in the field of asset storage and tokenization and will offer our country a regional area of action, Hallis Demer said. Tokenized funds continue to gain popularity. In a report earlier this year, Moody's, a leading investment risk assessment firm, revealed the value of tokenized funds surged from $100 million at the beginning of 2023 to approximately $800 million, driven by the rising tokenization of U.S. Treasuries. The report highlighted that both public and private blockchains are witnessing the inclusion of various assets. Some of the more notable examples include Franklin Templeton's U.S. Government money fund expanding from Stellar to Polygon, backed finance launching a tokenized short-term U.S. Treasury bond exchange traded fund ETF, and UBS asset management deploying a tokenized money market fund MMF on the Ethereum blockchain. According to Moody's, the tokenization of MMFs offers the potential to combine their stability with the technological advantages of stablecoins. On Monday, Digi FD, a Singapore-based fintech company, also announced the launch of its U.S. Treasury Bill Depository Receipt Dr. Tokens. The Dr. Tokens offer investors fractional ownership in the underlying U.S. Treasury bills, enabling investors to gain exposure to the traditionally secure U.S. debt market without the need for substantial upfront capital. Follow us on Google News.